Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. Hello. Is anyone there? Just a second. Let me update. Hello. Yeah, it wasn't the power this time. It was the, uh, it was the, it was my internet. Yeah, sorry about that. Like I said, uh, there was a random issue, my internet side to randomly cut out. Like I said, I think the wind's doing some weird stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and try these pretz. <laughs> They're tasty. They're very shrimpy. They're less, uh... They don't taste like fish. They taste like shrimp. Which, considering what crawfish are, you know, checks out. <laughs> and, uh... I suppose we'll get on to the game. Let's let's get on to the game before my internet decides to mess itself again. Ow! Loud. I am sorry, game, but a techno music does not bring to mind horror. It brings to mind too, trying a bit too hard to be cool. But, yes, loading delayed. It it was weird. Let me see if I can actually fix my overlay real fast. Refresh. Okay. I think it should be working again now. <laughs> okay, we're on the basement second floor. Uh, pardon the crunching. These actually... Do taste pretty good, so I'm kind of snacking on them. There is still evil in this place. Yes, munch, munch. I think we're in the dungeon? <laughs> You're having some banana nut buffins? Nice. Oh, actually, speak... Do, do I still have bullet? Yes, we're still live. We are live still. It looks like my uh, stream decided... Oh, yes, he's back online. Start. Let's split up. Roger. Let's regroup. Roger. Okay. Do I do not have bullet for gun. That means I should play as what's her name? Yes, eat the eat the green plant. It's perfectly medicinal. Oh shit, I gave it to the wrong person. I was supposed to give it to her. Well, congratulations, Rebecca. You have the weapon, so you're up front. You're also the person most likely to pair it. Bye, Billy. Run from the giant tarantula. Okay, note to self, make sure gun is actually equipped before going down there.
How many bullets does it take? Too many is the answer. Resident Evil Zero. Continue. There's still evil in this place. No, the game's only called Resident Evil. Dare I say I'm shocked! Okay. Give healing to Rebecca. Does she currently have gun? And gun mean giant spider does not kill us. Let us make sure she have gun equip. Because if gun not equip, then spider get up her hand. All right, let's keep going. Square up! How many bullets? That many bullets. Our poison? Shit. I, I I have a certain special disliking for both of the characters in this game. Okay, Rebecca, instead, you give me gun. Let's split up, gang. And we'll have Billy do it. Because unfortunately, in a game where you have to keep both people alive, healing items are especially limited. I get it's a survival horror, but still. It's not the fact that resources are limited that bothers me. It's the fact that since both of them have to live, I must treat the whole game like an escort mission. Come on, spider. You know you want to. You know you want to. I want you to... Do as well, because I want to kill you from the high ground. There you are. Come on, buddy. Let me guess. Poison. Horse poison. Oh, how are you not dead? Okay, there's got to be blue herbs somewhere. Yeah, the poison. I'm trying to find blue herbs, which are how you deal with that. The poison. <clears throat> right, the poison. 
poison. Poison for goose goat. Poison's that specifically kill goose goat. Goose goat poison. That poison. Gotta be a blue herb somewhere. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know, unlike in Pokemon, I do not appear to be slowly taking damage as poisoned. Does it just mean next hit I die? I know not. I only wish I still had grenades for the launcher earlier. Okay. Handgun ammo. Well, I got more bullets for the handgun. Too bad our dear protagonist is probably on the verge of death. You know, I may rag on, what's her name, for being, Rebecca, from being a horribly incompetent medic because she did not think to bring actual medical supplies, but, my dude, Billy. You ain't much better. Actually, you're not even better at all. that. Congratulations, Rebecca. You are staying here until we get healing items. All right, now Rebecca, you stay. Let's split up. Roger. Yeah, stay there and think about what you didn't bring. Come on, spiders. Approach me. I know you want to. You know, I don't have to deal with them. I could just run past. Ha Of course, these guys are in here. Die, you giant cockroaches! Oh, for the love of... Grab the thing! We got a locker key. Whose locker is it to? I don't know, maybe Albert Wesker's. Are there even lockers in here? I ain't seen one! Run away from the big fuzzy spiders. It's not enough, not bad enough that they're spiders, it's that they also have hair. Ooh, there's an upstairs. Oh, hold up. I think I might need to attend to my baby boy. 
Just one moment. I did not realize I had not put the audio for that back on. There's a control panel here. Press the button. Press the left button. Of course it's one of these where we need both people. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, handgun ammo. Great. These guns are probably just waiting to be disposed of. They all look pretty beat up. Okay, but do they work? Not can start now. All right, let's look at our inventory. See what we can drop. We don't really need that. Look. Wait a second. You know what that key's probably to? This! Because this is a locker. Please be grenades. Duralumin case? What's Duralumin? Examine. Okay, it probably means 385 is the combo that opens the thing. No, really? Ooh. Okay, so, that means this gets combined with this. Ha-ha! Does that mean that shooty-shooty will be better? And now I have space in my inventory for shotgun. Meaning, I don't have to use the stupid handgun, I can just use the shooty-shooty. Combine with shotgun. Equip shotgun. Blow away big hairy spiders. Come on, Billy, it's what you were born to do! Oh, wait, there's more this way. Oh, that's why. Okay. You know, the more I play this game, the more I feel like it was supposed to be a two-player game, but it just plays like a single-player game. No. Bad spider. Oh, there's the other one. Come here. Come here. You know what you done, spider. You know what crime against humanity you committed. You existed. Oh, I'm poisoned, aren't I? Surprisingly, no. 
I am most pleased. This way. Okay. Okay, first things first, reload the reload the boom stick. Also save. Saving is important. This is a typewriter. Record data. Yes. Billy, say 14. Basement, second floor. Uh, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Hydration is important, especially since caffeine is the only thing keeping my brain on track. So, was it perhaps a waste of bullets to be... Alright, chat, I am going to give you a poll real fast. Who should we send in the potentially dangerous maze? Should we send Rebecca or should we send... Billy? Who will be sacrificed to the maze? All right. This is just going to be a quick one minute poll. Who should be sacrificed to the maze? Billy or Rebecca? Place your bets, people. <laughs> You may very well determine who dies in this particular instance of my playthrough. If not, I will determine who goes and who lives. I did not realize I could control the second person's position. That's good to know. <laughs> All right, so it's zero or zero. Therefore, as Corvid Communications ex Chief Executive Officer, I am sending the person with the gun in the maze because the person with the gun is likely to run into trouble. <laughs> Rebecca, we need, we need to get... We need the grenades. Let's go. Okay. You stay here. Okay. No, Billy, you go back. You go back, you have grenades to grab. Acid grenades? I didn't know this was that kind of party. So that means press the right button. Okay. So. Perfect. 
Perfect. Wait. Press the button? Always press the button. Battle sequence. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, I killed one of them. Oh, I know what to do. Zero. Well, we found the key to something I don't know what. Continue. There's still evil in this place. Yes, I know. It's a game called Resident Evil. It's typically part of the package deal. Okay, Rebecca. You take shotgun... In the rare event you need to, that you need to defend yourself. Billy, you're taking the grenade launcher with you. That way, immediately upon the spawning of those whatever the heck they are, they're gonna get got. How many times do I have to play through the same segment before I finally get it? I don't know. Am I going to find out? Yes. Okay, Rebecca, we've already determined you're going to be up pressing the buttons. Mr. Billy, get out of the way. Okay, first things first, Rebecca. Press the right button, I think. Yep. Pick up the acid grenades. Combine them. Take the acid grenades, combine them with your grenade launcher, bake at 350. So that's why they keep getting closer to one another. Okay, go this way. Press this button. This ain't gonna end well. This ain't gonna end well. That explains why they gave me grenades. What's this thing? Facility key. What door does it go to? You know, that could have gone worse. That could have gone a heck of a lot worse. Okay, the question is, where does this facility key go to? It's hexagonally shaped. Hexagonally shaped like a hexagon. Huh. 
I do not like those sounds. Not one bit. So is it going this thing? I dance freely through the air, capturing legless prey. I stand tall on the earth with horns proudly displayed. I creep up on my victims legless and silence the conqueror, even the mightiest kings with poison. I am the king of all I survey, no creature can escape my grasp. Okay, the question is, where's the locked door? Either way, I'm saving. I'm not chancing having to do that whole thing again. I'm recording data. Overwrite save data, yes. You know, it's a miracle they can do that on a typewriter, just delete things. It's almost like they had MS Word. I'll go alone. Okay. You know, I question whether or not adding a scope to a pistol would actually improve its accuracy. Does that thought occur to anyone else? Okay, first things first. Equip pistol. Mr. Billy's about to die. Mr. Billy is dead. <laughs> I don't shoot enough to have an opinion. Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> I don't know, but just, like, whenever you see, like, in a movie, see, like, the scope's pretty close to the eye, so it's, like, for something you hold at, like, the very end of your arm, would that really help? I don't feel like it would. Let's split up. Okay. Okay. First things first. Give her the grenade launcher. Give you something that has more than one shot. And equip said gun. But yeah, crawfish spreads. Super good. Y'all okay. overgrown cicadas done did kill me for the last time! Well, that was a complete waste of two bullets. There wasn't even anything else in there. I am disappointed. I took an extra hit for that.
Hmm. Rebecca should probably stay put for now. I have two reasons for leaving Rebecca where she is. One, having to keep two people alive with very, very limited ammo is a hassle. The other reason is, well, I hate having to constantly switch between characters. Okay, boiler's over here. This key goes to something. I just don't know if it's on this side of the facility or somewhere else. I'm probably going to have to go back to the kitchen, aren't I? But hey, on the very least, we know that killing the cicadas isn't going to do anything. Oh, shit. Go this way. Hmm. Is there a locked door in the basement? Wait. What am I doing? I have a map. So, the locked door is upstairs, I think. It's probably this one, isn't it? Is it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't like those noises. Okay, so I'm on the second floor. There's a whole slew of rooms over here that, for some reason, don't seem accessible. First floor. Second floor. Third floor. Is it through this door? Hmm. No, it is most definitely not in there. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Rebecca. So, a map here. There might be a door in the basement. I just need to look. Intense stairs. There's gotta be a locked door or something. Wait, I've been here. There's zombies in here. Is there bullets, though? Ah, uh, shit. Can't open the locker, it's busted. Goodbye, Professor! Stop thump thumping. So I'm there. Basement 2 is where she was. Basement 3 has... I mean, pretty much been explored. So it's gotta be on this floor somewhere. Where does this key go to? I spent all this time trying to get it, and now I don't know where it goes! And I keep getting my inventory and my switch person key mixed up.
there's the first one. There's the second. So, where, where is it? All those don't open up. All those have been explored. So, unless it's the observatory, which I don't think it would be, it'd have to be... Yeah, it'd have to be up there. No other way around it. Because we don't have a water key. Which unlocks, like, the water doors. Therefore, uh, I have to go around and go over growing cicadas again. Ouch. First off, how dare you? Secondly, how dare you? Thirdly, get away from me. There's going to be crows up there. Did I take a wrong turn? I think I might have. Ah, oh, heck. I did take a wrong turn. Well... Back in with the cicadas. They sure as heck sound like them. Dodge. Dodge around you. Dodge around you. Run, 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 run. I'm not really scared of these monsters. I just don't want to deal with them. Okay. Door is locked, but there's an... Okay, then where in the heck does this go? It was the water key. It was the water key. I feel stupid. Turns out I am no... You know what, Cicadas? Thank you for putting me out of my misery. <laughs> okay. Zero. Now we know. That key goes to Blue Door near adjacent to Overgrown Cicadas. Overgrown Cicadas in Rumen's second basement does not need shoot. And if I were in this sort of situation in real life, I probably would have already died. I'll go alone. Okay. Yes, please stay there. Just because you're injured, so one wrong move on my part and you're dead. Like, seriously, it's just, if I make one... One, one wrong move. She is, she's a goner. I mean, he's not too much better, but, you know, he can at least take a couple of hits before. Wait a second. Well, guess I'll have to make it count. Yes, I know, zombie. You're still alive. Go through the door, Billy. Don't get caught on the counters. I have a person for leaving these guys at death's door, don't I? Not the best habit. 
Open the door. Open the door. Oh, I already killed these guys. Lovely. Use the facility key. You don't seem to need this key. All that effort for one door. Oh, hello, Mr. Leech, man. Is there anything? Is this, is this room just kind of there? Oh! Oh goody, I'm having to deal with multiple of these guys. Vice handle. screen switch, I swear. Yes, I know there's another of you in here. Go in here. There's gonna be another leech minute here, isn't there? I'm sensing a theme. How nice. They have a bar. How do, how do I get behind the counter? Examine this. Okay, is there anything special about the piano? You know what? Might as well. Okay, note to self in horror games. Play a conspicuous piano whenever you can. It might lead to secrets. Magnum ammo. I would take that if I actually have the gun that's for. First aid. I don't know what I need it for, but I guess I need it for something. Well, shit. I mean, if it's like a wood shelf, couldn't you just like beat it down? It's a battery stick. All right, Rebecca. Don't disappoint me. Okay, since you at least have a gun, I'm going to recommend you use it. Does it have many bullets? No. But we're saving bullets for bosses because, well... You can run past most everything. Can you run past things without taking a hit? No, but that's because they are, they're also being really stingy on the healing items. Hit the door, hit the door, hit the door, Rebecca. Actually, do you have any ink ribbons on you? 
Oh, thank God you have ink ribbons on you. Please save. Please save. I do not feel like I can do that again. Tappity tappity tap. Tappity tappity tap. Tappity 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 tap. At least, at least, I kinda know where to go. So, what I need to do is play the piano at the bar. Again. However, I have a sneaking suspicion I may need to do more than that. Because I, for some reason, do not feel as though Rebecca knoweth how to play piano. Is there anything in this? No? I wonder if I can use that as sort of like a gun? I mean, a cart. I mean, a hook shot's gotta be good. So... Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. This things move very creepily. The only, the only thing that makes them unsettling is the fact that, well... That musical store will put you on edge. They really couldn't throw Rebecca a bone, could they? Calm the zombie nerves. Play the piano using... Okay. So. That means... That it is... I wonder if the vice handle would be useful here. Probably not, but you never know. Well, looks like we're going in the other door. Yes, I know you're there, Leech Zombie. I just don't care to deal with you. Because it would take far more bullets than you're worth. Is that the door I came in on? I hope not. Of course there's two in here. Cool, we got ourselves a party! What's this way? Creepy science doors. That's what's this way. First aid. First aid. First aid. I need that. Use it now, Rebecca. Okay, buckle. Oh, I just had an idea. Take the green herb. The floor is littered with bone fragments. You wonder if they were human bones. They probably were! What's taking up so much space in your inventory, Rebecca? Okay, Rebecca, you do not need this much handgun ammo right now. Yes, take the red herb. Combine. Combine. I guess they can't combine. Why didn't I give the handgun ammo to Billy? Also, all the equipment looks badly damaged. Might as well grab you some more handgun ammo, even though you don't have that gun. Is 
There's an assortment of laboratory equipment. Rust. All right. Okay, so at least Rebecca is now somewhat okay. She's probably not safe, but she's okay. Oh goody, another leech zombie. I do so love the leech zombies. Yes, I know you're there, zombie. Correction, she was okay. Let me guess, here's where I need the vice handle. Shoot gun it. <sighs> the eternal struggle. The healing items I have, I have wasted. Why does it look like she's burning? Okay, what opens that? Alright, I'm gonna take a wild guess here and say that I need to put this back. And I'm also going to take a guess that if I grab it as Rebecca, then maybe, just maybe, I can open it back up. So, in conclusion, this room was pointless. Oh. I, I think I have a plan. Oh, that worked. They couldn't let Rebecca have anything, could she? I mean, dear gosh, I mean, she couldn't lift the cage, she can't play the piano. Like, they really just did not allow her to be like, competent. Yes, I know you're there, leech zombie. I don't have patience for you. Yeah... Yeah, you're probably right. Like, I have actually thought the same thing, because seriously, like, they, they made it so she couldn't play the piano. They, she's supposedly smart, but gameplay-wise, that doesn't translate to anything. What the 
heck is this? Obedience tablet. So, what was that for? I'm gonna guess I need to head to the observatory. I juked that guy, come on! I did not juke that guy. Okay. So. Resident Evil Zero. Now we know that we can take the battery but, the person who should do so is Rebecca, who is, unfortunately, the one with the least health. Is this going to end well? Probably not. There's still evil in this place. No, really? I wouldn't have guessed. But yeah, no, seriously, I kind of agree they might be a bit sexist in that. Okay, let's split up, gang. to do is avoid the leech zombie. Go this way. It's your time to shine. <laughs> All right, Billy, go through the door. All right, go around the zombie this time, and maybe, just maybe, you can avoid certain death. You still have ink ribbons? No, you do not have ink ribbons. Well, if I die here, it's back to there. Unfortunately. Okay, Becca, equip your shotgun. You're gonna need it. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Okay, I think the fire door had at least two doors it went to. Why is the water one only a one door key? Oh, hello, Leech Man. I do not wish to deal with you at this very moment. Yeah, I know you're there, Mr. Leech Man.
Get out of there. Get out of there. Into the bar, into the bar, into the bar, cause the game drives me to drink. Down there. Save again. Record data. Is this safe scumming? Possibly, but honestly really any other way to get through this game. <laughs> also, I was actually telling Lucas about this game, and he was just... I was talking about some of my complaints about it, and I said, part of it's because the game's old, and you know what? That may be part of it. I still think part of it at... I will wait a moment. I hope everyone's had a good week. I hope everyone's doing well. How do you get a noble yet tragic expression on her face? Okay, seriously, why does this look like they put up Subaru trying to pull your heartstrings over here? Ah, uh, Subaru. I've heard they're fairly decent cars, actually. <laughs> I don't personally know, though. I've never driven one. I've driven... The cars I have driven have been two Fords, a Kia, a Saturn, and, a Hon and two Hondas. Those are the cars I have driven. Honestly, out of all of them, I... As far as how they drove, I like the Saturn best, but I like the Honda that I drive now. It's actually a fairly nice car. Good! As I was saying, uh, Lucas was telling me about this game, and... And, uh, well, I was telling Lucas about this game, and he said part of the problem is probably because the game's old, and... While I accept that response... I also can't help but feel like part of it's also just there are some design flaws with this game. Because here's the thing, yeah. Hard games are fine, alright? They exist. They're a thing that happens. No, no problem with that here. No, my issue is the fact that it's not it's not necessarily as fun as it could be because of it. Because it's like... I, I get it. It's like, it's a horror game, so you're supposed to think things through. But... But... And hear me out here. Having to switch between characters constantly is not entertaining to deal with. And, and the reason it's not entertaining is because, yes, you're supposed to think things through in this sort of game, but... Rebecca, how was I supposed to dodge that? I, I ask you, game, how was I supposed to dodge that?
All right, Billy. She have thing for you. It heal item. It make you feel good. Billy, you also take shotgun because, again, you can take hits. She's not good at taking hits. Yes, play the piano, Billy. Open the door. Okay, there's the ammo for that magnum we don't have. Take the battery. Yes, take the battery. I don't know what we use it for, but it's a thing that we have. I'm gonna just leave you here for a little bit, Rebecca. I, I got a thing to do. Yeah, the battery. <laughs> I don't know what it's used for. I'm just assuming it's used for, for something. The battery. The battery. The battery for Goose Go. The battery designed to power Goose Go. Goose Go's battery. No problem. <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me what the battery's for. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Bang. Bang. Take the battery. Combine it with this, because we're going to need to get another item. Yes, Mr. Zombie had no head. Alright, use this thing. You know, I again have to question the practicality of uh, Umbrella's uh, methods. And, uh, let me tell you why. Uh, go through the door! Uh, what thing were you asking if they put that- why they put that there? There are many things in this game that beg that question, <laughs> loading delayed. The tablet and the vice? I don't know. The other thing I question is, for a research facility, a place where they gather data and do research on things. Why do they have uh, so many, like, puzzle doors? Like, just, just, just why? Combination doors, code doors, that makes sense. And, like, even one puzzle door like that, like, that kind of makes sense, because, I mean, it's kind of obvious they're up to some really sketchy, really sketchy shit, but. I've gone through, like, three different, like, puzzle doors, and to me, I'm just like, this would be an absolutely hellish place to navigate through for my job. Alright. Take the handgun ammo. Take all of it, and exchange the ribbon, because I'm not going through that again. But yeah, no, the reason I don't get it is because, like, the lengths to which they have gone to maintain secrecy is... She's following me, isn't she? Oh. 
again, it's just the lengths they have gone to keep stuff hidden is just excessive. Doesn't mean I get it. Secrets. Secrets, they're doing sketchy stuff, they need to keep it secret. But, again, the number of puzzles they have. Like, in the entrance here alone, they have this thing where I have to go all over the mansion to find two statues that perfectly that are perfectly weighted for each other. And then there's the fire and water doors. And then in the observatory, there's these tablets that are there for God knows why. Like, it, it, I, kind of another thing, like, it'd be one thing if this was, like, you know, like, so, some random per eccentric billionaire's house. That and be like, okay, you know, the, the, you, you do you sort of thing, but this is, again, it's just like, this is supposed to be a place people work. Perspective. Perspective is shit. Okay, do I need to find three or just one? Please tell me I don't need to locate two other little doohickeys. I need to locate two other. Of course I need to locate two other doohickeys. Does that at least unlock something? Game, is there anywhere here I've not looked? Hmm. Does that blue marker mean that there's something there I didn't get? Or is it just the sign I dropped something? We'll find out, I guess. Pick up the bullets. We need bullets. Almost all the equipment looks badly worn. Is there anything else here? Uh, apparently not. Question is, where am I supposed to go to get these other two mystical, magical theme bobbers? Because right now, the place is flooded with leechmen. Leechmen who do not like to be messed with. Hello, angry leechman. 
Get off me! There's gotta be something else here. Because I need three tablets, alright? Question is, where is the other two? Is it gonna be in here? Might I grab this? Caution. Alright, I'm gonna look up what to do just because I am a bit lost. There's no other places I haven't searched yet, so where to find the observatory tablets in Resi Zero. Observatory Tower. Alright, Unity Tablet. Bunk room A, facility basement B2. Facility basement B2. Oh, I need to go back there? Yeah, Google. That's kind of a thing. So it's in the bunk room. Where? The app. Wait. Billy, I have an assignment for you. I'm guessing in order to get to that one room in the basement, I need Billy's lighter because, well, he's the only dude with a. They're all. They're all right there, aren't they? Run. Go. Where's the staircase? There's the staircase. Yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. I do not like insects. Except bees. Bees are cool. And mods. Mods are okay. Like I said, normally I would be kind of like, no, no, using walkthroughs. I don't have the patience to deal with you zombies right now. Not when I got a boot stick. And let me guess, after grabbing that tablet, there's going to be more enemies down here. Probably spiders that will poison me. And kill me. Alright. It was that easy. It was that easy. Also, Billy, you were in pri you were on a prison bus. Where do you get the lighter? Did he did he smuggle it? And if so, I don't think I want to know where he smuggled it. I mean, it's possible.
Six souls in prison. Oh, the weak. Alright, what's your deal? So am I supposed to open the ones with cracks? I'm the king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. So I'm guessing that this one needs to be lit. Because it says the weak. So obviously, there's a puzzle here. I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. So that means this one here. Eagle captures snake. But what does the horse say? No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. So that means this one, I think. Rare Kindle flames of light from the spirit of the weak. I am king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. Okay, so now I need to light the lion. Spirit of the week. Okay, so. Stand tall on the earth with one shot of sprayed. I dance for Lady of the Air, capturing Lightless Prey. No amount of cunning can match my supple limbs. Okay, is there a specific order I need to do them? Hmm. Is there a certain order I need to light them in? Because they all go out. I'm king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. So that means light this first. Ah! Capture legless prey. Let me light it. Okay. My sharp wits allows me to bring down the great horned beast, so that means you. You horns proudly displayed. Wolf horse, possibly.
Please be the horse. Please be the horse. Gosh dang it. Ugh. The only problem is I don't know how to, like, get in there. Control panel. Okay. Uh, animal puzzle. So let's see. Nope, you did not need to be accessed, Rebecca. Okay, you? Do you? Gosh dang it! How do I do this? Did I never set up the throw with this? No, it seems to be working. Oh, I see. Yeah. No, it seems to be working fine. I don't know what the deal is. You light maybe, but no. I think part of the problem was literally that my thing was holding down the nine key, so like the input was still. Bring down the Great Horned Beast. Okay, I have another question now. How would this thing know what order I light them in? How would it even know that? There look to be no sensors here. And also, this is a really dumb way to lock your bedroom. Oh my freaking gosh. Magic... No, I'm I'm guessing culty magic on this one. What's the solution, Google? Pink ribbons. Okay, first torch to light up as the one next to the stack. Thank you. Because this game has not at all, like, explain. I get the who hunts who, but the problem is I don't know where the starting point is. Next one. Whoa. Okay. So I'm supposed to light the prey animal first. Got it. It all makes sense now. Uh, 
Again, with this whole, this is a science facility. Why all the secret doors? Thank you, Google. Let me guess, there's gonna be something in here that wants me dead. Well, I'll be damned. Oh look, it's a fireplace. It appears to be purely decorative. Why would you have a decorative fireplace in a basement? That sounds... Unsafe due to carbon monoxide poisoning. It's a thing that exists. It's a fun way to die. Let me guess. Other ones in here. Eat a two-week-old unrefrigerated pie. Swear I'm... Oh, there's two of you in here. Get off me! It's a wooden box inside of various gadgets and gizmos. Dang, Super- Subaru again? Seriously? What was the point of this room? There were two zombies in here. Nothing else. You know, that's fair, I guess. Oh, no, maybe this can tell me. <clears throat> Manage Management Trainees Day. What is that director... What is it that director Marcus is researching all the time? And what is his weird interest in leeches? Interest seems more like love at times. Rumor has it that there's something dangerous about those leeches. Is it true that when Dennis just touched one, he got ill with the fever... Again today, there were horrible moans beyond that door. Let sleeping dogs, no way I'll go near them. Even if the director ordered me, I don't want to end up like Dennis. That poor bastard, scratching and scratching. It makes me itch just watching him. Maybe, must maybe go if can, but who? Dennis gone, I go. Hungry. Hell, mom. Okay, so we got another one of the tablets. Obedience was the first one. What's the second one we got? Maybe, maybe just maybe, we can get that third one. Okay, discipline. Discipline, that's the one we don't have. Ah. I have the solution. Yippee! Yes, please. I I want to finish this game at some point. This is definitely a game I want to go back to just because even though it annoys me to gr no end, I am determined to beat it. Okay, you are a couple steps from death, friend. We are saving. Oh, 
Okay, there was something about a lift in here somewhere? Training facility entrance. There's a lift someplace. So it's like right at the entrance. Wait, we can leave the whole time? Why don't we just do that? At least there's nothing out here. Who knows? Maybe healing items. Which is good because I need healing items. It's a solidly built wire mesh that shows its age, but no sign of decay. Okay, first off, it's a metal object. Metal doesn't typically decay. It rusts, but it does not decay. We found what the battery's for. Yippee! Use the lift. Yes, I want to use the lift. Okay, I'm guessing I need to move the box. I need Rebecca for this, don't I? No, no, I'm not asking you to climb it. I'm asking you to push. Oh, push. Duh. You know, come to think of it, I don't know how far we actually are in this game. But yeah, at least it wasn't the same one for the advertisement, because, like, when, when I watch YouTube, I do not pay, I do not pay for premium, because that's what they want you to do. It's too dangerous to use, use the lift. How is it too dangerous to use the lift? Oh, it's because he was a bit too far back, wasn't it? Or is it something dumb like that? What was the point of that? What was the point of that? All right, Rebecca, lower us back down. Alright, what's this pillar I'm supposed to take it to? Alright, 
push it that way. Why are old wooden crates always a thing in games like this? Bush. Bush. I see. I see how it is, game. It says I'm supposed to push it onto a pill. What pillar? That pillar. I... Let me do thing game. All right, watch this. Push this over here. There's something there. Take the discipline tablet. Yes. Okay. One more thing I have to do. Make it up back up there without getting killed by a bunch of giant cockroaches. Will I succeed? Probably not. We are going to finish up with that observatory puzzle, and then we're probably going to call it a night. If only because, well, I'm getting tired, and also we're hitting the end of the time. It's like 7.55 where I'm at. Cockroaches, be it known, I have not patience for you. Of course you're right there. And of course, there's a bunch of you. And of course, there's a bunch of you. Actually, I've got another question for Umbrella. So, from what I understand, they use vi viruses to make all their bio weapons that they want to make, right? Did it never occur to them that that might lead to it spreading because viruses do what viruses do. And what viruses do is spread. Boss fight time. Possibly. Oh, never mind. What? What what the heck? What the heck just happened? Wait, please give me heals. Please give me heals. Of course, you're all the way back there.
it's locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anymore. I get how to bring Rebecca over here. But the thing is, Rebecca doesn't have the ink ribbons anymore. I need to go grab my partner, or at least save. But, there's an easy way to save. Or at least an easy route, because I get the feeling that the whole tower lowered, meaning I don't have to deal with the cockroaches anymore. Oh! No, but I do have to deal with the... I'm about to die. Well, that's a good as, as good a place as any to stop. Alrighty, so, we finally beat the quote-unquote training facility part, so I'm not sure if that means it's like a chapter one or if we've hit like the halfway point, partially because I'm not even sure how long Resident Evil games are normally. But, just as a few more, just to go over announcements again one last time for those who might not have been here at the beginning of stream, and also to compensate for the fact that I do not know when the stream cut out for a bit because of my internet, but, let's see. Oh, that was it. Uh, May 28th, we are celebrating my one-year stream anniversary. And we are going to be playing I'm on Observation Duty. And then on June 4th, we'll be beginning the Summer 2024 quarter. Which, of course, means we're playing a slew of new games. So, look forward to that all. Also, uh, next Tuesday, we have not decided what we're playing yet, but we will be collabing on Tuesday with Lucas. And next Friday, we'll be playing through and hopefully completing the Dollhouse DLC for Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. So, we've got a lot coming in the next couple of weeks. You all have a wonderful evening, and remember, at Corvid Communications, we won't leave you eating crow. Good night.